Friction Fire is a new submachine gun in Destiny 2 Beyond Light, and it's part of the new loot pool in Season of the Hunt, and this is a kinetic submachine gun that could be very useful indeed. So the following is a guide for how to get Friction Fire, plus good roles to look out for in PvE and PvP in Beyond Light. And don't forget, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Friction Fire is a legendary kinetic submachine gun and it's got a precision frame, meaning this weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. In terms of stats, it's got 25 for impact, 56 for range, 43 for stability, 29 for handling and 26 for reload speed. It is a 600 rounds per minute SMG with 26 in the magazine. For the hidden stats, it's got 52 for aim assist, 22 for inventory size, 16 for zoom, 85 for recoil, and it's got 15 for bounce intensity. The curated roll on this one comes with full bore for that increase in range, but decrease in handling and stability. Extended mag for that increase in magazine size, but a decrease in reload speed. Field prep for an increase in ammo and faster reloading, plus rampage where kills give you an increase in damage for a short time, and this stacks up to three times. For PvP, Wellspring, where kills generate ability energy, and Zen Moment, where causing damage improves the stability, so these are both good perks. Killing Wind is also good here, where final blows increase mobility, range and handling for a short duration. And Accurize Rounds or Steady Rounds would be really good, as well as Polygonal Rifling for the barrel for more increased stability. Always useful on an SMG. For PvE, Threat Detector, where you get an increase to reload, stability and handling when enemies are near, and Vorpal Weapon would be good, where you get an increase in damage against bosses, vehicles and guardians with their super active. The most popular role with this weapon at the moment is Killing Wind and Wellspring, as well as Acarize Rounds and Arrowhead Break. So to get this weapon, you want to complete the Hunt for the Wrathborn quests, so by completing Wrathborn hunts, keep an eye out for the prey mods as you can target farm specific weapons. And you'll need to get access to Season of the Hunt and Crow's Cryptolith Lure to run these Wrathborn hunts. So this is a pretty good SMG with some potential, and we don't have too many SMGs in the kinetic slot, so it's nice to have this one. Plus, it can come with some really, really good rolls. So to finish up today, let's have a look at the lore on the weapon. So we've got Friction Fire, Speed, Heat and Light, far away. What do you mean, lost? The spider's tone is filled with ill-concealed fury. He leans forward in his throne. Their pikes were equipped with trackers. Why didn't you chase them down? Brivy kneels in front of the spider, all four of his palms on the ground. Their pikes remained. They're outside. Just the crew was gone, and their crates. He does his best to appear compliant by tampering down his quills. Gone? In the middle of the reef? On foot? With over a million glimmering weapons? Something about this doesn't add up, Spider motions to Avrok and Amra, who advance on Brivy with molten welders raised. But we'll get to the truth of things soon enough. Brivy begins to panic. Please, Baron Spider, if it were not the truth, I would not come back. Avrok prepares to melt off one of Brivy's upper arms and looks to Spider for the order. Before Spider can speak, Crow steps forward from the wings. If I may, my Baron. Spider gestures to Avrok to hold and turns his attention to the light bearer. What is it? If you don't have the stomach for my discipline, you have permission to leave the room. It's not that, Baron. It's just that Brivy's account is consistent with several other instances Glint and I have seen out in the reef. We think it has something to do with those hive constructs. Crow spares a sympathetic glance towards the prostate Brivy. Besides, what Brivy says is true. If he were in on the theft, he wouldn't have come back. If you'll just allow Glint and me to retrace his steps, we may find out what happened to the rogue crew. Who knows? We may even retrieve the weapons. Spider relaxes in his throne. Very well, Crow. Go and find my weapons. And if you locate the rogue crew, you know what to do. Yes, Baron. Crow turns on a heel and strides from the room. Behind him, he hears the spider growl, Avrok, you may proceed. Well, really interesting stuff there, as always, from the lore. And let me know down in the comments what you think of this weapon. And that is it for this guide on how to get friction fire in Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, 
hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next video.